Hey everyone. So a common problem I see with a lot of beginner sledge hockey players and even at the national level at times is that we forget to get our hands down our sticks. So when you're playing sledge, you want to have your hands at the top of the sticks to just pick, pick, pick and always be like moving amongst the play or even have them up top here. But you forget to get your hands down quickly to receive that pass. So we're going to work on a couple of drills right now to help get you quicker in your hands. I don't have a particular name for this drill, but let's just call it fast hands. And the idea is that your partner is sitting about 10 feet away from you, hitting you with a pass on either side without telling you which side is going to go to. And the object is that you have your hands at the top of your sticks, and it's your job to have a quick reaction about getting your hands down in time to receive that pass. Okay. You also notice I got my left hand out if I'm receiving it here. I'm going to pick with my left to balance myself. Okay. Okay. What you'll notice there is a couple things going on. One is that if I'm receiving the puck on my outside hand, I'm still using this side of my stick to pick myself because I might have to lean depending on how far I have to reach out and then I can balance myself again. Or if I've got my hand down still, I can use this and then I'm just gonna lean forward and now both of my hands are gonna stabilize me when I receive that pass. But what you're gonna wanna do is just focus on just getting your hands down quick. Whether it's gonna be like a pick and let your hands slide down or you're just gonna wanna, just gonna wanna throw the stick. But I recommend just starting with getting your hands down like that, get it out, control the puck if you have to on that side, pass it back and then position yourself ready for the next one. So once you actually get your hands a little bit quicker, it's going to do a couple things for you. It'll improve your self-confidence. You'll keep the play moving up the ice a lot better, and you'll be able to receive passes in situations where you normally wouldn't have. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. It means the world to me if you could leave a comment below. Please tell me what we could do differently. Any ideas for a future video? We're all putting out content every single week here to educate people and let people know more about how to play the sport of sledge hockey. So please hit subscribe here on YouTube, and if you would like to learn more, visit PlaySledgeHockey.com.